Hey, this is Gary Baird with SellerEssentials.com. Had some questions come up about Keepa and all the new features that are on there and actually about some of the older features that are on there as well. So I thought I'd make a quick video to go over the tool in a brief video and talk about some of the new tools that are part of the functionality now and how you can use those to make better buying decisions. So if you're not familiar with Keepa yet, um, if you're <coughs> fairly new, or just have never used it. Keepa is simply a tool that gives you price and sales rank history and some other stuff now as well. Primarily started out as a tool that told you historical price, shows Amazon has been in stock. Amazon's the yellow you can see there. They've been in stock at 11 euros, it looks like that is, um, for a while now, and then it dropped down to eight euros, jumped back up, and so on. So if you wanna download Keepa, which I highly recommend if you're gonna use it, uh, just go to the apps tab here on Keepa.com and select your browser, and uh, whichever browser you use, click it, and it will download for you, pretty simple. So let's talk about what it looks like on a website. Now you're not gonna see all of this information. I just picked this random product because it fits our example very well. Um, not all of this information over here is going to show up on every page. Um, Amazon only gives certain information on certain listings. Um, some listings don't have sales rank. Some listings aren't going to show the third party FBA or the buy box or the warehouse deals. Uh, you have to work with what you have. But when you do have this information, it's a, it's a great uh, package of information that lets you make smart decisions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this black line just to clean this up a little bit. Black is used really don't care about seeing used. I'm also gonna get rid of this like maroon line uh, because I don't care what the list price is really. Uh, and I don't care what warehouse deals are. Warehouse deals are just the deals that are damaged that Amazon sells. And you can see they sell them typically, you know, about $10 cheaper in this case than the new, new items. So let's take this one at a time. So Amazon is the yellow or orange, however you see that line. So if you look at the orange, or yellow here, it is solid, which means Amazon is in stock. And when you see the price, you see a little box when you hover over that little orange yellow box that says 5302, that means that Amazon was priced at 5302 at that point, 5621 at this point, then they went out of stock here when it's white, and then they came back in stock at 5621, dropped price once, dropped price, price again, and then jumped it back up to 4482, and now they're out of stock again. Um, so when they are not, I'm going to get rid of Amazon here, just to, so you can look at everything else a little cleaner. When they're not in stock, it's a little bit harder to understand what the buy box price was. What the low price is, is shown here with this blue line. Unfortunately, that's without shipping. So up until this point, about right here, it looks like October 1st, they started this new feature. Um, they only gave you Keep only gave you the low price. So 5602, you see the blue box there. That's the lowest new price, but that could have been 5602 and free shipping or 5602 and $30 shipping. We don't really know if it's 56 or 86 or something in between there. Um, so it could have had a merchant fulfilled seller selling for 5602 with $20 shipping because it's a pretty heavy set of dishes. Um, or it could have been that this person at 5602 was, you know, the absolute low price, and all the FBA sellers were at 5602 as well. Um, so we don't know, but now we can get a better picture. So here we can see the introduction of the third-party buy box. You can see this pink box right here. Um, the orange is your third-party FBA price. So we know that that is a true price. So if somebody is if the price is listed at that, let me get rid of the pink for a minute. So you can see these orange triangles. That is going to show you when the orange pop-up box shows up there that the low FBA price was $59.99, whereas the low price was $44.82. So again, this could have been $44.82 with $15 or $20 shipping, or it could have been just $44.82 flat. We don't know. Um, but Either way, the low FBA price was $59.99, and if you click this buy box option, if it's there, um, it will tell you that not only was the low price $59.99, but the buy box was $59.99. Before this tool became available, we would have to rely on this and kind of guess at if it's going to sell at a higher price. Um, 
now we don't have to do as much guessing. Again, this isn't available on every tool, but it is available on many, or uh, sorry, on every product, but it is available on many products, and we can use that to our advantage to start to see. You start to see a pattern here. So low FBA is $59.99, low new is $44.82, and then eventually the low FBA sellers um, were, you know, the, the merchant fulfilled sellers in the blue, uh, either they sold out, which could be explained by this drop down here from nine to eight sellers, uh, because all of a sudden the lowest price jumped up to match the low FBA price. So we see a bunch of different information um, that we didn't see before. The last thing we haven't talked about is the sales rank line. And the sales rank line, when you're looking at this, you wanna look, I keep my zero down here. Um, I know some people like it up at the top. Um, you can switch that if you prefer to see the zero up top. We honestly want to see as many uh, drops down to zero as possible, or as the line is the green line as close to zero as possible, showing a a good sales rank. So I'm going to get rid of this other noise here for a second, just to show you. So in this case, we have a three month view. You can change your view from three months to a year. I like to see a year sometimes, so I can see what it did. Something did last Christmas. You can see the rank on this. Not everything goes down in rank. Most things increase velocity, but this is actually a Christmassy type product. So you can imagine that that would uh, do better in November and December. Um, it actually stayed pretty solid into uh, middle December, even into January here. It was still selling pretty well because it's a Christmassy type, Christmas type thing. Um, but the sales rank here, we're going to go back to the three month view. Uh, whenever you see a drop like this, it's at 144,000 rank and all of a sudden the next day, it's at 40,000 rank. Uh, actually, it was the same day, Saturday the 30th to Saturday the 30th. It just um, sold one there, sold one, maybe two, could have sold three, who knows. Somebody could have bought a whole set of uh, eight different sets. Uh, each set is for four people, so if you needed a you know, setting for 16, somebody might have bought four sets, which made the, the rank drop so much there. Because you'll see some of the drops aren't as precipitous. So you've got this rank here, or this drop down here. That's another sale or so. Uh, this may be another sale, probably another sale in there somewhere too. And you've got, every time you see these drops like that, or it's staying consistently low for a period, it's indicative of, of a sale or, or more than one. Um, so that's um, a really valuable tool because it kind of gives you an idea of how, uh, how many are selling, what the velocity is. Now we've got a great new tool on our website um, called uh, the Sales Velocity Chart. I created it because it was just a, a tool that I thought we needed instead of the sales rank chart. And I just made a, a video about this whole thing um, yesterday. And it's out there on our YouTube channel as well if you want to check that out. Um, but basically it tells you at a certain rank, so our average rank for this product, if you hover over the statistic word, you can see in the far right column, the green column, where it says last 90 days, the average rank has been about 84,000. Now we know that it sells much better at Christmas time, so this is gonna be a little misleading, um, but at 84,000 in kitchen and dining, a product is gonna sell somewhere between 10 and 30 a month because the rank falls between here. So that gives us an idea. Um, we can also kind of count the drops, which is what we've typically done in the past to get an idea of, of sales. One of the cool features um, that you now can do, and if you go back to the year view, you can look at this and you can highlight a certain section. So we can just highlight, you know, November to beginning of, this, of January and really get a good picture of how this thing sold. So let's actually do this whole section in here just when it was really super hot. And you can see even here when you blow it up, you can see these drops. You had a significant drop, then it kind of went up a little bit, so it's still selling well. Then you had another big drop, and it kind of stayed there for a little bit, and then it got really consistent here, and you see these little mini drops in here. They're mini drops because the rank is already so low that it doesn't have much further to go. So that's a great way to kind of get a feel for how a product does overall by looking at the full view, the whole history, or by looking at a specific um, range currently, recently, um, or by looking at a specific date range. You know, if it's a summary product, you want to look at what it did in the summertime and see how it performed then. And this surprisingly does well during the summertime. This is not a, a summer product by any means, but it still has quite a few drops. So hopefully that helps you understand the uh, sales rank chart and, and the Keepa chart and how, and how to use it to your advantage and what all these little 
new tools mean. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us and, and let us know. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, go to the bottom and click on bottom right and click on the Seller Essentials logo and subscribe to the channel so you are first to see all these videos that we make. Um, and if you're interested in more tools, tips, and resources besides the sales velocity chart, again, I'll put this link in the in the comments down below so you can access th this every day when you're shopping online or or analyzing wholesale products. Uh, but you can always go to visit our site, SellerEssentials.com, for lots of different tools and resources and, and tips. So, hope you have a good one.